This guy asks this girl on a date. She says yes, so he decides to get a suit. So he goes to the tailor. There's a long line at the tailor, so he waits and waits, and he finally gets a suit. Next, decides he's going to get some flowers for the big date. So he goes to the florist. There's a big line there. He waits and waits, finally gets the flowers. Picks up the girl. They go to the dance. They're waiting outside. There's a big line to get into the dance, so they wait and wait. Finally, they get inside. He asks the girl, do you want something to drink? She says, yeah, I'll have a punch. So he goes over to the drink table, and there's no punch line. You're welcome. So we're back by the buckets obviously and some of these are a bit high because we had probably snow a couple feet up the tree or a foot and a half up the tree and then they're kind of like mounds too right so we had a lot of snow back here and now the snow's down you can see this here is probably I don't know five almost feet? five feet to the to there like if you see where it's coming from the base of the trunk so that's a little bit high, so we're going to drop it down somewhere between three and four feet most likely. What we're going to do is we brought the spray paint. For one, we'll be able to identify the trees come next year, but also we'll mark it to uh, mark a line so we know to go like below that line, right? And that'll make it easier for when we come back to do it next time. So then if the snow is really high, we'll still only go mm -hmm. so far, right, when we tap it. So we'll be making the holes lower next year. We didn't, don't want to do it this year, obviously, because it's already there. But that's what we're going to do right now. So once the leaves come out, we're going to go and identify more maples and spray paint them because we have a bunch more buckets, so we'll tap a lot more next year. Yeah, so then come next spring, we'll know <clears throat> which ones to tap. This year next here, fall. we just kind of... Spring? We yeah. don't spray. Oh, yeah. Fall. <laughs> so next spring, when we when this comes up, we'll, be, we'll already know which ones to do and not be trying to figure it out by the bark and stuff, which we, we did all right. I mean, yeah. It's not like you can't, but it'd be even easier if it's already spray painted for next year, right? What, like an X or just a line? It doesn't matter. Whatever you think we'll see circle. later is not the last. Yeah. Yeah, you just, whatever. That's Maybe good. a big, thicker line, even. That's good. You know what the tree is penetrating. Yeah. Probably around the same, I'd say. Yeah, you probably don't need to use that much paint, actually. actually decided to spray all the way around the tree that way we could see it from anywhere we're walking in the forest and this bottle kind of sprays weird because it's meant to be sprayed on like grass or on the ground so you're supposed to hold it upside down that's why I probably look really weird spraying it like this and I feel like a lot of it is flown back at me so I may have a lot of green on my body by the time this is over look like the Hulk the Hulk at <laughs> yeah It really picks it up all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Remember the other day, this like had a whole pile of snow in it because we got a foot of snow last weekend. Well, this year, well, the other day, like two days ago, I think, 
we got, there was a rainfall warning. We just got completely plastered with rain. So now it's basically cleared this field right up. And it feels like spring's really coming now. The field here that's all cleared, it's, um, it's what we had done last year. So we had the guy come in and <clears throat> clear out all the trees for us. He's gonna come back this year and he's gonna level it all out, move all the big rocks out, and then we're gonna plant a whole bunch of clover in here. So it's gonna look really good. And he's gonna level it out with where the house is. So that way it's like just a whole big front yard instead of up a hill. Cause right now you kind of have to walk up a hill to get here and then it's the cleared spot. So we're looking forward to that. Now we're going to head in the house and start doing some planting. So here are the pumpkin seeds. We're going to get them all started in here. We got those from Sandra. We got those. We got sunflowers and they get started directly in the garden after the last frost and these carrots here they're rainbow mix carrots so different color carrots and those there go in as soon as we can work the ground so we'll get some soil outside in a box or something and then do that there's the pumpkin seed it's big. all right so we got peat moss here so that's what we're going to plant in we already have a bunch of it Right, we're just gonna pour it all in. Let's Let's scoop it in with your hand. So we'll shove them down like an inch, inch and a half, right like that. And then you want to bury it. So our last frost is between May 11th and May 20th. All right, Sam's just gonna water them now. You think that's good? Yeah. There we got a pool of dirt. <laughs> the seed inside. So all we did so far is pumpkin and we are going to add more things to the tray. We just need to go buy some more seeds and then we'll add them. So for now I'm going to put the tray, I'm going to put the lid on the tray and we're going to place it in a warm area but not in direct sunlight and leave the lid on it until the first one starts to sprout. So we're just going to leave it there and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get some sprouts soon. So the, we had, remember we had made these like pallet decks so we could get to and from the vehicle because it was so muddy. Our driveway is just like a complete mess right now. Well, it's actually starting to harden up a little bit already. And we just, a lot of times you can't even, like the ruts are so bad, you can't even park right beside this little deck that we built. So we decided to move this one here in front of the patio door and we're just using it as a deck for now. So we can come right out this patio door and sit in a couple of nice snuggly chairs, have a coffee, watch the sun. And it's a really beautiful view looking out towards the cleared area. I got the chickens over here to the left and it's just really awesome. So we do plan on building a deck right here. This whole area is going to become a deck later this year. Right beside here is going to be a mud room, and then you're going to walk out the mud room onto the deck. You'll also be able to walk out these patio doors onto the deck. So I figure since we're building a deck here anyway in a couple of months, since we can't start the build right yet, we're just going to use this and we can still sit outside on our nice cozy chairs and enjoy the sun on our pretend pallet deck for now. Mm -hmm.